We have uh, Gary Colton here, a public information officer from SBA. Uh, he's working on some issues related to a cell, and I thought you folks might be interested. I'll turn this over to Gary. Good afternoon. <clears throat> uh, this morning, the SBA officially declared uh, disaster uh, for Hawaii for the uh, tropical storm Izell on the island of Hawaii. And uh, basically what that does is opens up a, a loan, the SBA loan program, disaster loan program, for homeowners, renters, businesses of all sizes, and private nonprofit organizations that may have had damage or losses because of tropical storm Izell. What we offer is uh, for homeowners up to $200,000 to rebuild or replace their home uh, for homeowners and renters up to $40,000 to replace damaged personal property, and that's furniture, clothing, appliances, even a personal automobile if it wasn't covered or was not fully covered by insurance. Uh, for businesses, we offer up to $2 million to repair their building, repair or replace damaged uh, equipment, and replace lost inventory. And for private nonprofits, they have the same uh, $2 million. As part of that $2 million for businesses and private nonprofits, we offer what's known as an economic injury disaster loan, which is basically a working capital loan to help them pay their bills until things return to normal. To qualify for that, you don't have to have had uh, actual physical damage because of the storm, but you do have to be able to show that your revenues have gone down, and since the storm, you're having difficulty meeting your fixed costs, which could be uh, payments on your building, payments and service on other uh, in de other debts that you might carry, and it can include owner and and uh, employee salaries. Uh, for a period of time until things return to normal. The interest rates on these, lows are, on these loans are fairly low. Typically, homeowners and renters will see an interest rate of 2.063%, uh, which is less than 2.1%, fixed term for up to 30 years. Uh, and for businesses, the rate will be 4% uh, for most, of, most businesses that would qualify again, for up to 30 years. We encourage people to apply, whether they think they need a loan or want a loan uh, or will qualify for a loan, let us make that decision. And then if they don't need it, they can always just say, I don't need the loan, thanks for the, thanks for the offer, and, and we'll cancel it out for them. But the period to apply is from today through the 22nd of December and people need to apply during that period of time. Once the window closes, uh, it's closed, and we, we don't open it again. We did uh, at 11 o'clock this morning open a center down at the Pahoa Community Center where they've had the uh, information center going for the lava flow. Um, that center opened at 11 today. It will be open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Friday, and it closes as of the close of business on Thursday, November 6th. So we have people there who are available to speak with applicants, uh, answer questions, and they have equipment, I believe, to do actual online uh, loan applications. So people can go in, get their questions answered, apply for a loan while they're right there, and get into the process while they're there. So that's basically the program we have available at this point in time. Questions? Gary, Dan Nicasso with the Star Advertiser again. Do you have any sense of uh, any guess how many either private homeowners, renters, businesses, nonprofits might be needing some kind of assistance and any, any guess budget of what the, amount of, the total amount of loans, those loans might be? I don't have a number. Um, I'm sure that uh, someone from the state uh, who was on the – uh, preliminary damage assessment may have numbers of, of homeowners who had major damage and those who had other damage, but I don't have those numbers now. Thanks. Dan, Dan I know that um, already published numbers would be, I think, 39 um, 
homes that were destroyed or suffered with no, what, what FEMA considers to be uh, heavy damage. And then when they had the DARC or the Disaster Assistance Recovery Center set up, my recollection is there were 260 people who self-reported some degree of damage to their property. That might be the pool anyway. It might be, it might be one, one measure of the potential pool. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Any, any sense on businesses, too, or, or nonprofits? I don't, I don't have that information. I'm not okay. I don't know. All right. I appreciate it. Dan, Denise Leighton here, DLC, Hawaii Media. Are you saying that somebody will be at the Pahoa Community Center uh, today through November 6th, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m.? Yes. There are, there are a couple of people there who are available to help local residents or those who had damage. Okay. And I'm assuming the information on this uh, declaration is available on the SBA website? Uh, it should be by now, yes. Um, they also will have uh, handouts at the center that people can pick up. Um, and some places may put them online. I don't know about it. The mayor's office may put the documents online. Uh, some of the media typically will also post them online. Uh, Has um, SBA reached out to the Pahoa Merchants Association at all regarding this? We haven't yet, no. Okay, what about the business owners in um, Seaview, Kalapana, and Kapoho? Uh, I haven't reached out yet. Uh, this is my first public appearance uh, officially. I gotcha. spend the morning on the phone calling some people that I need to call and printing documentation that I can take around to, uh, as I make visits. I will be calling on the Chamber of Commerce. And they usually will will uh, send out a, a notice to all of their uh, members. So, but I, however, I only list the Chamber of Commerce here in Hilo. There is one over in Kona, I guess, also, but I don't list any others on the coast, off the coast. Yeah, I ask because there's a lot of businesses and self-employed people that live in those areas in the Seaview, Kalapana, Kapoho area that were heavily impacted. That um, don't belong to the chamber, and that's okay. why I asked. Okay. Um, do they have a, a member organization or some kind of an organization that they work through? Not really. It's a collective. It's a collective group. Uh, there's, right. there's different farmers. There's small businesses. There's the B and Bs. There's a lot of small industry down there. Yeah. Okay. Gary, it's Dan Nicasso from the Star Advertiser again. Are, are you able to characterize the the difference of what of these uh, these loans that are being offered through SBA versus what they might have gotten if FEMA had approved uh, the original request for uh, for uh, reimbursement? If, if FEMA had approved uh, an IA declaration, they would have come in and provided grants to help people who had minor damage repair minor damage to their home to make it safe and habitable. For those who had major loss, they would have helped them find temporary housing. Uh, all of, we would have come along also on that declaration to provide the loan program because we are the source for long-term recovery money. And typically in a disaster, the money from, from SBA loans becomes the major portion of money issued to uh, homeowners and renters and even private businesses, and FEMA doesn't really cover them. So, so a, a home that was destroyed uh, would not have been rebuilt uh, under the IA declaration? Typically not. It's typically okay. rebuilt under the SBA program. Thank you for that clarification. Gary, mm -hmm. Denise Layton and Big Island Business again. Are you partnering at all with the East Hawaii VOAD Chapter Long-Term Recovery Committee or with United Way on this? Uh, we can. Uh, if, if you have someone I can contact, I can talk with them 
and provide them with some information. Um, I'm having a pointing here, the person here. Uh, I can provide them information uh, because ours is a loan program and it's an old, oh, just a 60-day window for application. We typically don't uh, partner, if you will, with the volunteer organizations, but we do help provide information that they can get out to the communities and to people who have damage so that they can apply and, and at least try to, you know, do what they can to get into the program. And your phone number? They should call 1-800-659-2955, which is our SBA Customer Assistance Center. They will have to key a couple of numbers in, but then they will be able to talk to a person. And if they need uh, translation assistance, they have translation assistance available to help them. Gary, are, are you out here from Sacramento specifically for ESL or for another re other reasons? In, in I am here for this declaration for ESL. You're from Region 9, though. Uh, actually, I'm from what's called FOC West, Field Operations Center West. We're in Sacramento, California, and Thank we you. cover everything west of the Mississippi River West. That's U.S. Ter or U.S. territory. There's another office in Atlanta, Georgia, that covers the east side and the and the islands. 